Hi, my name is Tyson, and today I want to show you how to access data using the Census Data Application Programming Interface, or API, from the 2020 Decennial Census Demographic and Housing Characteristics file, or DHC. The DHC provides demographic and housing characteristics data for a range of geographies found in the United States in Puerto Rico, including age, sex, race, Hispanic or Latino origin, household type, family type, relationship to householder, group quarters population, housing occupancy, and housing tenure. Some of our data users find that the Census Data API is the best way to access data when they need a large amount of it, or as you'll see shortly, small amounts of data as well. Others find the Census Data API is the best way to get data when they want to use it in the applications they create. My goal is to find the number of males and females aged 65 years and over who are in nursing or skilled nursing facilities for adults. I want this data for Arkansas, Garland, Pulaski, and Saline counties, all in Arkansas. I went to data.census.gov earlier and I found table P18 from the DHC dataset and it provides the data points that I want. However, as you can see, it's rather large table and I only need a small fraction of the estimates that it provides. This leads to one of the advantages of using the Census Data API. You are able to get data just for the estimates you need. This is different from data.census.gov where you get data for the entire table. Let me show you how to get data for just the variables that are needed using the Census Data API. Using your web browser, go to census.gov. Under the Data and Maps heading, click on Developers. Under Developers heading, click the link to the Discovery tool. Then click on the format you'd like to view the Discovery tool in. For this, I'll click on the HTML version. The Discovery tool houses all the different datasets found in the API. To locate the 2020 Demographic and Housing Characteristics file, click on Control F and type Demographic and Housing Characteristics into the search bar that appears. The dataset you want is the one labeled as Decennial Census Demographic and Housing Characteristics. To isolate the information for this dataset so you don't have to worry about the other 1,500 plus datasets found on this page, click on the API base URL found in the last column and add .html to the end of it. Hit enter and you'll see that you now have just the API information for the DHC. First, find the variables that you need. To get the full list of variables, right-click on the variable link and choose Open Link in a New Tab. It helps quite a bit that I already know that I want data from Table P18 because I can use that table ID to search for the variables that are found in it. Click on Control F and type P18 in the resulting text box. Skip through the matches until you reach the variable labeled P18 underscore 001 n. This is the first in the list of P18 variables. The variables are named according to their placement in the table. So P18 underscore 001 n is the first line of the table. P18 underscore 002 n is the second line of the table and so on. I'm going to scroll down the list until I get to the 65 years and over section for males, and then I want to look for the one that says nursing facilities slash skilled nursing facilities. It looks like it's P18 underscore 027N, which is labeled as total, male, 65 years and over, institutionalized population, nursing facilities slash skilled nursing facilities. Now I just need to scroll down more until I reach the same variable for females. It's P18 underscore 058N. This is labeled as total, female, 65 years and over, institutionalized population, nursing facilities slash skilled nursing facilities. 
Take note of the names of both of these variables, p18 underscore 027n and p18 underscore 058n. Now that you have the variables you need, return to the information page where you initially selected the variables link. To get a list of example queries that you can use, right-click on the examples link and choose open in a new tab. Here you can find example queries for all the geographies that are available with the 2020 demographic and housing characteristics file. For this example, I'm first interested in state level data. So I want to focus on the queries found for the geography level or summary level 040. The ampersand for equals portion of the query dictates the geography. The first query gives you data for every state in the US. You can tell that it's going to give you data for every state because it uses the wildcard, which is represented by an asterisk. The second query gives you data for a single state. This second query uses the two-digit Federal Information Processing System, or FIPS code, to identify each state. The 06 FIPS code that is currently in this query is for California. I don't know what the FIPS code is for Arkansas, but I can use the first query to find out. Right-click on the first query and choose Open Link in a New Tab. When it opens, you'll see that it is listing out all the states in the U.S., which is the first portion of each line labeled as name, along with their respective state FIPS code, which is the second portion of each line labeled as state. Click on Control F and enter Arkansas into the search box. When the match comes up, you can see that the state FIPS code for Arkansas is 05. We can alter this query to reflect Arkansas by itself. Navigate to the query and replace the asterisk after state with 05. Then hit enter. This isolates Arkansas, so it's the only state that you see. Now we can add the two variables that we need. Right after name, type p18 underscore 027n comma p18 underscore 058n and hit enter. Make sure to include commas to separate each variable, but do not include any spaces. Now you have the counts for both variables. In Arkansas, using p18 underscore 027n, we can see that there are 4,837 males aged 65 years and over who are living in a nursing or skilled nursing facility. Using P18 underscore 058N, we can see that the number for females aged 65 years and over is 11,062. So now that we have this data for Arkansas, how can we get it for the three counties? All you have to do is modify the geography portion of the query. Go back to the page with the example queries. This time we're interested in the queries for county level data or geography summary level 050. The first two queries are going to give you data for all counties in the US. You can tell that they are going to give you data for all counties because they use the wild card. The difference, as you can see, is that the second one spells it out for all counties in all states. This second one is handy because you could change the asterisk for the state to a two-digit FIPS code that is associated with each state. And then the last query allows you to look at data for a single county within a given state. The three-digit county code that is used in this query is unique code for each state. The three-digit code in this query is 037, which is the code for Los Angeles County, and it's using the state code of 06, so we know we're still talking about California. I'm in the same boat that I was in before because I don't know what the codes are for the three counties I need. To figure this out, I can use the second query. Right click on it and choose open link in a new tab. Then replace the asterisk after state with 05 and press enter. This gives you a list of all the counties in Arkansas. The three digits found at the end are the county codes. 
If we scroll down the list, we can see that the code for Garland County is 051, Pulaski County is 119, and Saline County is 125. What we are going to do is modify the geography portion of this query to get data for all three counties, and then we'll copy that geography portion and paste it into the query that we did for the state as a whole. Since all three counties are in Arkansas, we can replace the asterisk after county with 051, 119, 125, and hit enter. Now you should just see the three counties. Copy the entire geography portion, starting with ampersand 4 equals, right click on it, and select copy. Then go back to the state query that we did earlier, and paste the new geography portion over the old portion, which was ampersand 4 equals state, colon 05. Once that's done, hit enter. You should now have three lines of data, one for each county, that gives the data for males who are 65 and over living in a nursing or skilled nursing facility first, followed by the data for females who are 65 and over living in a nursing or skilled nursing facility. I hope this tutorial has been helpful in learning how to use the Census Data API to get individual estimates from the 2020 Demographic and Housing Characteristics dataset. For more guidance on using the Census Data API, please visit the resources page below. Thank you.